This video is about Prentice War. So I have a picture of a lens here and a picture of a prism. These two are totally different. Uh, a lens has a focal point, a prism does not. However, sometimes a lens can act like a prism and that's very important. Uh, and this relationship is called Prentice War. So what is Prentice War? So in the picture of the lens, this dotted line is called the optical axis because it goes right through the center of the lens. So again, this line here is the optical axis. So any light ray that is away from the optical axis has a prismatic effect. And the further away the ray is, the light ray, then you have a more prismatic effect. So for example, uh, the light ray in red here will have more of a prismatic effect than the light ray in blue here because it's further away. Prentice rule also depends on the strength of the lens. So if the lens was stronger, then it would give more of a prismatic effect. So what is Prentice Roar? So Prentice Roar is simply uh, just P equals D centimeter times D. Sometimes you might see the D written as a C. Uh, it's the same thing, same concept. Sometimes you might see the, the big D written as an F. So sometimes you might see it as P equals C times F. But the concept is the same. So the D is the distance uh, from the light ray to the optical center. So for example, um, this this distance here, right over here, let me just zoom in a little bit here, make it a little bigger. So this distance here is D uh, between the blue light ray and the optical center. And then this distance here between the, the red light ray and the optical center is D, uh, D centimeter, the small D. A big D or F, big D or F represents the power of the lens. One diopter, two diopter, three diopter, etc., etc., etc. So let's do an example using Prentice War. So I have here a picture. Uh, so the eyeglass, this patient is wearing an eyeglass prescription of minus four in both eyes, and minus four here and a minus four here. Uh, let's do the left eye. This is the left eye. On the left side, this is the right eye. And this is the patient's nose right over here in the middle. Uh, you can imagine yourself on top looking downwards. Uh, so this is the patient as you're looking downwards on them. So the optical axis, the lens optical axis is right here. However, the patient is looking not through the optical axis, but at a, at a point other than the optical axis. So the patient is looking through here. This happens because the PD is wrong. The PD is supposed to be 32.5, but the, let's say the, the patient measured the wrong PD or the optician measured the wrong PD. So the patient is not looking through the optical axis. They're looking through a point of the lens that is not the optical axis. Same thing with this eye here. Let me do it in blue again in blue. So this is what the patient is looking through. This is the part of the lens that the patient is looking through. And then this is the lens optical axis. So because of this, the lens acts like a prism. And you can calculate the amount by Prentice Roar. So you go back to this equation, uh, P equals D centimeter times D. So let's go, let's do that. Let's write that down. So uh, P equals D centimeters times big D. So the D centimeter is the distance between the uh, optical axis and where the patient is looking through. So in this case, this distance is 2.5 millimeters. Uh, so the D, and it has to be in centimeters. So it will be 2.5 to five centimeters times the power of the lens. In this case, the power of the lens is minus four. And you don't have to put the minus sign. 
the minus sign will be omitted, so just four for the diopters. So let me write that down times four. So then the total prism power of the lens is one prism diopters total. So same thing in the other eye. So you have the same numbers. So then you have one prism diopters uh, in the left eye total. Then you combine them. Uh, so you have one prism diopter in the left eye is actually base in a base in the left eye, and then one prism diopter base in in the right eye. So you get a total of two prism diopters total induced base in. So because the patient's eye is not aligned with the optical axis, because of this misalignment, is equivalent of wearing a two prism diopter base in prism in both eyes. So that's Prentice Roar, and it's very important clinically. Hopefully this video helps you.